Luke chapter 1. And so, Father, we want to thank you again for the awesome privilege of, the, of being able to see another new year. Thank you for the victories and the successes of 2011. But today is a new day. Today is a new hour. Today is a new season. We thank you, Lord God, that you that gave us victory last year will be the same one that will give us victory this year and years to come. So we honor you now. We thank you for your word and we bless your name forever in Jesus' name. Yeah, you guys remain right there. Don't leave. Don't leave. I mean it. Don't leave. Amen. Luke chapter 1. Amen. You know, since last night up till now, I've not slept. And I'm not complaining. I'm just telling you, as a matter of fact. I'm so wound up. It's, it's terrible. Wound up with excitement. Wound up with expectation. I know that Christiana Teta is pregnant. Stand up. Let, let, let us see you. Can, can you. can you stand up? You see how pregnant she is? I am more pregnant than she is. <laughs> that is with expectation. And that's why I truly believe that God is going to give us a deposit. It's not going to be long at all. It's not going to be long at all. All night long, all morning long, I've made phone calls. And the phone calls always begin with salutations. Happy New Year, Happy New Year. Happy New Year, Happy New Year. Back and forth. All, every phone call I've made, all night long has been like that. Now, if the salutations of man to man is edifying and pleasant and exciting, how much more when God greets man? And this morning, Baba Jehovah wants to greet his children. Oh, I don't know about you this morning. Let me get into the scriptures and read a little bit. Praise God. He wants to greet you this morning. He says, now in the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent by God to a city of Galilee named Nazareth. To a virgin betrothed to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David. The virgin's name was Mary. And having come in, the angel said to her, rejoice, highly favored one. The Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women. And when she saw him, she was troubled at his saying and considered what manner of greeting this was. This is a season for greetings. I said to you this morning, Happy New Year. Ah, uh, you need to respond back. You need to greet me back. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> but this is a greeting from man to man. But there comes a day and a time and a season and a situation when God leaves heaven to come and greet you. And for all of you that are here today and those that's listening by video or whatever means you are listening in, I want you to know that today's your day for God greeting you. Amen. Hallelujah. Let's read on. Verse 30. Then the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God and behold, you will conceive in your womb and bring forth a son and shall call his name Jesus. You know, all through the scriptures, whenever God comes to greet you or to visit you, you are never left to remain the same as you were before he got there. Shall I call some, shall I call some witnesses? Abba Father Abraham, this man that was barren, 90 something years old and yet God walked into a space you know my space these days God walked and invaded his space and look at this old 90 some year old man and said today Abraham your name will no longer be Abraham the exalted one but your name will be Abraham the father of many nations and from that day forward Abraham's testimony changed. I want to tell you this morning that your testimony will change today because God has a greeting for you. Amen. Hallelujah. How about Moses? Witness number two. A man who had been raised in the palace of Pharaoh for 40 years and when it came into his heart that God was going to use him as a deliverer for his people saw the Hebrew and Egyptian fighting and slew the Egyptian in favor of the Hebrew. 
And of course, word got out and he had to run. And for the next 40 years, this man that was condemned under Egyptian law was passing time away, a condemned man. Until he saw the burning bush. Hallelujah. Until God came down to visit him and gave him a greeting. And from that day forward, this man's life and history totally, completely changed. I'm saying there's somebody here this morning. God is about to greet you. He's about to give you a handshake. He's about to breathe on you. God wants to kiss somebody here this morning. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. How about Jacob? Witness number three, this man that was a supplanter, a cheat, everything you want to write about negative, it was him. He was Mr. Wall Street. He was everything you can ever think about. But that is until God came to greet him. And by the time God got through with this guy, he left the presence of God with a limp. Hallelujah. Not a limp in a negative way, a limp in the sense that God marked him. Every living moment from that time forward, he knew that he knew that he knew he had been in the presence of the living God. Hallelujah. How about Samuel, little boy, that could not hear the voice of God very well? God came and began to speak to him. Samuel, Samuel. The boy did not know anything. Until he was tutored, directed, and finally he was able to discern the voice of God. And by the time he was able to discern the voice of God, Samuel was not a little boy any longer. He became a priest, a prophet, and the anointer of kings. Oh, I don't know about you this morning. I'm sensing some serious grace and anointing in this place. So in a like manner, in Luke chapter 1 now, God comes to Mary. A virgin, young girl that knew nothing. And received this casual greeting that had a potential for supernatural and eternal impact. It was a greeting of transformation. Her life changed. It was a greeting that made the impossible possible. It was a greeting that brought a change to her status quo. You came in here this afternoon, one ID. You're going to live here this morning, a changed status quo. Cool. Your situation that had been impossible, I guarantee you today, will be possible. Because God is going to get involved in your situation. She received a greeting that puts her in line for divine fulfillment. And today, you are straight in line for that same divine fulfillment. I'm hearing somebody say to me this morning, oh, hallelujah. And I think I'm going to hoop here today. This is New Year's Day. I'm hearing somebody say, Pastor, I'm not Abraham. I don't have Abraham's faith. And therefore, God, maybe I don't qualify for this special greeting from God. But you don't know who God is. God is not going to come and greet you because of your super faith. God is not going to come and greet you because you've done something mighty. Somebody say, well, I can understand the situation with Moses. He was the meekest man on the face of the earth. Maybe that's why God visited and greeted him. And you're saying, I'm meaner than a snake. I'm not meek. There's nothing about me that is any good. But I want you to know what is wrong with you is what qualifies you for God's visitation. Hallelujah. Somebody say, well, I am not Jacob and therefore I can not qualify for God's visitation. But I'm here to tell you this morning, hallelujah, that even though Jacob was a man that sought the presence of God and sought the, the work, the hard working of God, and that's why God perhaps visited him. But I'm here to tell you this morning, hallelujah, on this New Year's Day, that because we are not Jacob, that's the very same reason for which God is going to visit you this morning. Hallelujah. There's somebody here this morning that said, I am not Mary. After all, I'm not a virgin any longer. And therefore, perhaps I do not qualify. Take heart. I'm here to tell you, it's not your virginity that qualifies you for God's presence or for his greeting. Here is this man here. I'm 58, married to a wife with three children. But I'm guaranteed that Jehovah is going to come, he's going to greet, and he's going to speak. What are you saying? I'm saying to you this morning, I read in the Bible, in the book of John, chapter 4, the Bible 
Bible said, uh, even though Jesus, when he's went to, from Judah to Galilee, the Bible said, he said, I must uh, needs go uh, through Samaria. Oh, hallelujah. There was a shorter route, but there was a demand that was placed upon him. He said, I must, I, 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 I must go through Samaria. There's a Samaritan here today. Hallelujah. One that is despised, one that is rejected, one that men don't like. You are a Samaritan. You are hearing the word of God this morning. The Bible said, I, 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 I must go through Samaria. That's where I'm going, but because of you, I'm going to take a detour. I, 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 I'm going to go through Samaria. Hallelujah. Why? Because in Samaria, there is one woman who has been rejected, dejected, frustrated, disillusioned, hallelujah, made bad choices in her life. Husband number one, gone. Husband number two, gone. Husband number three, gone. Husband number four, gone. Husband number five, gone. And the one she's with, they are just shocking up. She's been looking for satisfaction in the wrong places. She's been looking for blessings in the wrong things. God had her number. God has your number. He knows who you are. He knows where you are. He has your address. He knows your name. Hallelujah. That's why he said to Samuel, 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 I know you. You are not just a face in the crowd. You are not just a social security number. I know you. You are not just a judge here. Driver's license ID number. I know who you are. So, so, yes, I know there are many Pharisees. There are many Sadducees. But I know you. I know where you are. Go to the street called Straight. Oh, my God. Jesus does not need a GPS this morning. He does not need a map quest. He knows exactly where to find you. Hallelujah. He knows where you are. He knows who you are. He knows what you are going through. He knows the pain you are carrying. He knows the burden that's on your back. He knows the disappointments you faced. He knows you've been looking for solutions. I'll be it in the wrong places. That's why the Son of God came to bring peace to the earth and goodwill to all men. Hallelujah. He wants to greet you this morning. He wants to change your status quo. He wants to change your life. He wants to turn you around. There's a turn around for someone here today. Hallelujah. Your situation will turn around. Your circumstance will turn around in the name of Jesus. 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 He must needs go through Samaria. He must needs come and find you. He must needs come and meet your need. Because he has a greeting. He wants to bring you today. Hallelujah. 